Hey guys, how are we doing? How can you my my left eye is bloodshot. I've just been in the shower and like I'm being told that it's not noticeable. I can't see it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna film the video anyway because uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I literally look like the dude from District Nine when he's transforming into an alien. Um, that's what I feel like. Anyway, stupid intro. Back on another video from. Nux Taku, and this is greatest plots in hentai games. I feel like it's going to be that last one, which was uh, character development in hentai. He has all the memes and stuff, and blah blah blah. So, uh, looking forward to this. Let's check it out, shall we? My God, my eye! How do you know? <laughs> As we live in a modern era with an ever-developing landscape of online entertainment, we all understood that the obvious evolution to enjoying and empathizing with anime my characters least favorite was enjoying and empathizing with anime characters in hentai. Yeah, now you can see I'm not watching any. Hey. Where we watched our little boy grow. Now that we understand that they're like actual people, we can enjoy the medium of hentai where we watch y other things grow. But yes, like okay, like that. To enjoy any individual <laughs> pleasure. And for that, I wanted to talk oh, about no, the they look so young. aspect of oh, the no. wonderfully glorious landscape of Eon. Kaiser I'm editing this one. Hentai game. That is correct. Slurp, I am slurp, clearly moving up the world. Depravity. Oh, very God. cool, Lord Nuxenor. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very cool. Very handsome. <laughs> very nice. That said and done. In order to perform the proper research, yeah. not in the pleasurable aspect of these games, because that pretty much is uh, very self-explanatory. But we need to delve deeper into the greatest plots in each game. Of course we so do. After countless oh, sleepless God. nights, fervently <laughs> researching and tackling the subject from every angle I possibly can, for research purposes only. Only. Let me Stress that once more. <laughs> it was for research only, not personal pleasure. Oh. I legitimately skipped the parts the things that you, you do for us like next. in my research just so Must it could be more awful. plot focused and not focused on any of the other wonderful, glorious, and imaginative aspects of the media. So, the biggest issue we have here are the most popular age games are. Oh, look, it's uh, My Hero Academia. Oh, dear. The oh, no, game. they're so Hell young. Yeah, let's see what happens. And no. this is just like, oh, click on this character for this generic moan sound bite. <laughs> And you will see the same exact <laughs> image of said character with slightly less clothes. Continue clicking to win the game. Yes, definitely a difficult challenge and one that I very much regret spending my time doing. Well, that was sort of true. So in order to find games with applicable plot and brilliance in order to oh not God, only no, stimulate so the dumb. body, but to also stimulate the mind, because let's be honest, that's why we're playing hentai games. I've reached out to the wonderful and glorious people working at New Taku Games. Yes. Not Nux Taku, oh. the new Taku. They are absolutely <laughs> not related whatsoever, and the X in my name is not silent like the X in Hunter Hunter. Hunter. No, totally different <laughs> thing. Not at all done on purpose, I swear. Stop it in the comments, I already know you're doing it. Don't let this infect the subreddit, please. Link to the subreddit in the description, though, because, like, I mentioned it, so I might as well plug it. And the glorious, oh my God. noble master new Taku. that new Taku were like, Okay, fam, you want to talk about Grey's Plots in Hentai Games? Well, you do the talking, and we got the plot. So, okay. the absolute mad lads over at new Taku actually sponsored this video, yes, a sponsored video on this topic. I am sure that's incredible. If this is the biggest thing in the entire video, that's right. This video is sponsored. The three games that I am about to be talking about, their plots in depth, are all found on New Taku. Genius, so in the absolutely I genius. To my Twitter, where I have a tweet from New Taku to their site to find the games. It's set up that way because YouTube doesn't like me directly linking hentai games. Yes, I, don't I imagine. If you want to enjoy the unearthly pleasures oh, of hentai games, New Taku is the place to do it. These guys got a ton of different titles, YouTube no want the you see boom boom fights and facts <laughs> that intrigue you so for now okay boys here we go okay oh, yeah. god first plot fap CEO. The plot is what? as follows. It's a very difficult corporate world out there. In order to make bank, you're going to have to beat all of your rivals who are attempting to do the exact same thing since yeah. in this world everything is a rat race. In order to become a glorious empire... The 
Empire of Nooks and Old Wind. <laughs> you know, one thing must be done. Something that this world has been using for millennia in order to grow and Oh my and god, are you reading the dialogue? Help your clients through video chat. Now, don't get me wrong. A man of science like myself understands full well that video chat oh. is not something that exists for millennia. No! Stein's game is such a good anime. And combining that with video chat, you've created something oh, that was a weird scene in Kakagori. ...that can potentially even take over the entire known universe. And that is what your job is. In this beautiful capitalist regime where we can follow our dreams, push the envelope, be imaginative, and create something wonderful. Something yes. amazing for the good of mankind where we can grow past our wildest dreams. Where if a good idea alone can lead you in the right direction or the right erection... <laughs> <laughs> you can create something truly okay, new. Okay. In fact, Time's CEO, too. you have created this. You have realized that the best way to have a regular video chat to help your clients is by hiring tons of models and essentially having them work as porn stars. That is correct. Oh, you have found a new pole God. in the system. And with this, victory is in your grasp for world domination. But the trick is, that is not moral and would not work in a normal setting. <laughs> You can't just have a normal IT company where, like, you call up someone to help fix your computer and all of a sudden, blam! Twitch thoughts everywhere! No, no, no. The girls you hire don't even realize what you're hiring them for. Oh Until, my well, let's god. Just say they want to work with you and really put a lot of elbow grease into the operation. You only hire wham women of different fetishes oh. and sizes. Of yes, so of course. No one yes, under oh. 18. This is very important. Yes. And just like most CEOs and most massive corporate thingos, where it's basically cutthroat trying to get to the top, we very much mirror our very fabric of society within this brilliant meta narrative. How like sex sells and sex gets you ahead in life. So all right. the coworkers are like, oh hell yeah, let's uh, let's have a good time with the boss. And the boss is like, oh you're a nice woman, I will buy you this present. That, that present and being that you are the CEO, you get to decide which women of your fetish you oh, decide to so uh, like buy funny. random presents for that they are like, oh damn, because you got me this present, of course I'm going to level up to the point where not only is my body for you, but it's a little more sexually welcome to any of these video chat colors yeah. who are coincidentally all weaves. I can't figure <laughs> out why. Yes, the weaves are the backbone to society and the CEO is taking full advantage with mental prowess and women. Combine Combining oh these two together, God. it forces the world into submission. Because this game, while at heart it seems like some cheap, nonchalant way to fap. In fact, it is only called Fap CEO. You're a CEO that gets to fap. But in actuality, it tells us a far darker tale about society. Why of is course, it that yeah. every company in the world, and you know I'm serious, because I said the world got so loud, <laughs> hires sexy women for their posters, sexy women for their products, and sexy women for literally anything. Like, legitimately, you can have a <laughs> sexy women walking down the street, whirl a few times on his stripper pole, turn to the camera, and then say, Pepsi. That's right, back up a awesome <laughs> Pepsi ad right there, totally had everything to do with the women, because even though this is a far more sexualized glance at large companies, Pep CEO oh is literally God. every CEO. This is a glance into the lives of every large company. And it's my God, it goes deep deeper than it actually looks like. Women. Next lap, Chick Wars. That's right, it's a war of the chicks. May the best chick win. <laughs> That is, in this massive, brilliant strategy battle, oh, that, ah, that's right, okay. not just a chick that would be fighting other chicks. No, no, no. You are an all-powerful wizard, just like every good MMO. Cool. And it's an amazing gacha game where you gather all sorts of extremely powerful nice. creatures. Like Naga, who happen to be naked women that are have snakes. Like ah. archers that happen to be naked women with bows. Like <laughs> even of course, that yes. happen to be naked women with horns. You may be getting the drift here. That's right, it's about fantasy. It is the perfect and ultimate fantasy game just taken to the next level. Being far more realistic about all this stuff. Yeah, now, you're an epic it. wizard guy that gets to summon and control all sorts of, of fantasy weapons to compete in <laughs> battles of glory in order to conquer other castles and lands oh, wow. and stuff. Now, this is a very generic sounding game. In yes. fact, literally every MMO kind of follows this style. You gather a bunch of soldiers, you put them out on the battlefield, each one has different abilities and attacks, they I fight each other, the Best chick win. But this time, oh, this time it's different. Because this time, they really know what they're talking about. Oh. If you look at your average armor for a fantasy whammon, as you can see, uh. the breastplate is literally like a breastplate. Like it has two bumps, one for each uh -huh. breast. Now, the obvious question for this is, why is it created like this in fantasy games? 
If you look at real armor, the breastplate comes together in a point. In order for it to glance blows off it, like if oh, it makes sense. Yes, yeah, of course. Sword, it will hopefully be able Baby, don't to look. drive the point of the sword to the side. Oh, oh God! There was unli unlimited armor. blade work spoilers. Oh, God. <laughs> this fantasy whammon <laughs> with bumps for the rest is the opposite. Instead of glancing blows off, it literally focuses all the blows to the center point right in the middle of her oh. chest to kill her. Fantasy whammon armor is a scam, and it is purely designed to make them look sexy. Okay? The people that make all the fantasy MMOs, they know that sex sells. So sexy whammon sells. Now, Chick Wars, Chick Wars is more self-aware than that. Right, they okay, understand right, the full okay, cool. gravity of the situation, and they understand that, obviously, fantasy armor is bull crap anyway. So let's hmm. just fight without it. That's right. Ah, just get rid of it. Oh, this is a realistic fantasy like game. Look, this really hot woman has armor. How about no? <laughs> they know exactly what they're yeah, doing. Crazy, that armor man. is counterproductive. <laughs> And that is why, in Chick Wars, the women don't wear armor at all. And in fact, the more you level them up... Fantastic. The they less they wear? ...very interesting acts of uh, intercourse. Removes any scrap of armor they may be wearing. Chick very Wars nice. knows full well what you're here for, and knows full well what the market is. In fact, I would go as far as to say that Chick Wars is a meta commentary on the entirety of MMO video gaming. That's right, I said it. Why is it that if you look at every popular MMO, the women are all hot? Do we want the women to look hot in war? No, it's just for the appeal to draw in the dudes. Chick Wars is like, yeah, we're also in the I see you freak. The dudes. We're not gonna make believe it has a purpose in battle. We're gonna clown on every other game with our higher intellect and IQ. And that is what Chick Wars does. And besides, let's call a spade a spade. If you're playing another MMO and you get random, really hot elf whammon creature, obviously, you want to know more about the species. Yes, Here's I want to learn. I want to be educated. You want to see a picture of her. Oh. You want to know what, like, every <laughs> bit of her looks mm. like. And Chick Wars does that. So, uh, take oh. that average MMO <laughs> and Project. UT. Now, immediately, right. you know you're dealing with a master game, right? There's a like, big... Looking into the brilliance of mm -hmm. what was going on here. Count of characters there, babe. We've got a lot of characters. Mm. Big, big didn't characters. Didn't stand for Project Quintuple Terror. No, didn't make it all sense to me. Didn't oh. stand for Project Queen What's the record it stands for? Oh, not everything's a fairy tale reference just because they made an hour-long video on fairy tale. And then I immediately realized that they were toying with my mind all along. Project <laughs> QT? No, no. More like Project Beauty, hell yeah, cell five, I'm oh. a genius, go Lord Nuxinor. Nice one. Just saying that, because it literally took me like hours to figure that out. That oh, I, I, I didn't that even clock onto that. Hell. Anyway, that's Beauty cool. Stand for that. I'm like, ding dong, figured it out. You're <laughs> a genius, I know. Not making fun of me. In any case, yes. the plot is that there is a virus that invaded our oh. world. Oh, God. And now this black hole thing is opening up and it's going to destroy everyone. Now, you're the only one that can travel to different dimensions. That looks cool. And gather women of all different species that all look like humanoid creatures except they have extra fetish implants in order to save the day. Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? What are you fighting <laughs> about? <laughs> conquer it and turn to your side of the force to, to capture more whammon. You understand the genius? Yet? You level oh, them up. You make them powerful. And it's a fight to save the world. Now, the reason why the plot to this game is actually secretly genius not just this two-dimensional garbage that you think you're listening to. It's right. very simple. It's purely because this game very much represents our daily life. Of course it does. Here we go. There's a deep philosophical, in-depth yes, look at the what the game's game. actually yes. telling us. Yes, the only way to do so is to gather these extremely powerful women that you can train and make more powerful to capture more women to be even more awesome. And now you're probably wondering to me, this game is sexist. Why are only the women the powerful ones? And I will explain this to you because I'm sure that is the first thing that came to all of your minds when thinking of Yes. Game. It's because this game is meant to be our personal psyche and how we, as individuals, look at any given situation. Normally speaking, this is a massive threat to the universe. The entire universe will be destroyed. Yes, you of course. Act. So what do you do? Well, are you going to go ahead and gather a force of the most powerful in order to swiftly crush the threat immediately? Or, let's be honest, do you want to get laid? And well, even if the answer should be you want to save the entire universe, this game is exactly very much telling you exactly where everyone's mindset is at any given point in time. You have some astronomical ah. task to do, and in order to accomplish this task, you must gather warriors. But it doesn't matter side because cause. and you find that the major we focus of get the game so. isn't at all <laughs> defending the world. No, in fact, the major focus of the game is gathering the women, and then well, having fun with the women in, in different, various ways that I wouldn't have even thought possible. Because this game knows 
that. This game knows that even though anyone with a massive burden on their shoulders will try their hardest to take care of that burden. However, they are easily, easily losing the forest for the trees. It is all too easy to get caught up in the metaphor. Oh no, high school TXT. No, no, show this clip. No. There's something you need to do. You will always be distracted by these metaphorical boobies. I mean, I've never seen this anime ever, babe, and I don't know what's going on. Even though it is a quest to save mankind. <laughs> no, the plot's really good. I'm not even joking. Well, this basement did a video on it. Oh god, I'm not even fucking this. How could TXT is pretty decent? Stuck here. Yes, I think that we can all learn a massive lesson from you. Our priorities always have to be in the right place, and even while we're doing something ah. that follows our priorities, we can't always get lost. <laughs> this game is also telling you that these are, in the end of the day, extremely awesome. So it's an interesting. Jesus Christ, they're too big. Where is that line between duty and booby that we must take? Because you need both. And this duty game and booty. Different for oh, he said booby. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ, what's going on? Depths of what our society is about. Is that high school DXD? I've not seen season three, so that I mean, that's yeah. the incredible depths of the greatest. Why do you look so impressed? Right <laughs> right well, that is not my place. I am not. I don't know what you're talking you about. She's movies. touching your boobies. Sure <laughs> this game isn't just a mass random whammy. No, it's a oh, massive whammy no, to save the world. You need to make the metaphorical boobies the stepping stones to your future. You need to grab the world by the balls and make something incredible that you could be proud of. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Smash like a hundred thousand likes and greatest button anti games too. We'll be out of it. Nice. Be of Being that YouTube is not a huge fan of this uh, type of content, this video will hopefully be around as long as possible. But let's call a spade a spade. It won't be. In fact, it's almost dangerous for a doobie. I ask you a favor if you want to actually Jojo's keep the music in the background. Downloaded, I don't know, give a crap, but please do not re upload it. And if you have re uploaded my other ones, please take them down or at least spread the word that I'm asking for them to be taken down because YouTube can definitely track it back to me and I do Damn. not want it tracked back to me. I could be in grave danger, I tell you. So, if at all possible, please do not re upload them. And if you have, please delete them. And if you've seen them re uploaded, please let them know that I would really appreciate it if they weren't. I have them all on my Patreon for $10, so which is a good buy. Plus, patrons are invited to my Discord server and also have the ability to watch all of these wonderful and brilliant philosophical exploits of mine through the realm of hentai. Feel free to join my subreddit to meme around with the fan base. Smash like and subscribe to see when the next one comes out, which also will probably not be around for very long. Thank you so much, Nutaku, for sponsoring this video. Extremely cool working with you guys. Thing. Great nope. selection Stop. you got Nux there. Taku with the silent X by Hunter Hunter. Have yourselves a most wonderful evening and remember, <laughs> don't get lost in the metaphorical boobies of the world. And stay, stay weird. Fam. Did we not get in the outro? What's going on? There we go. I do this every time though. It's not as good as the first outro, but it's pretty good. I remember being so amazed when I do that. <laughs> oh, when I was timing the flashes and yeah. stuff. That was that was a very funny video. Um, yeah, I just couldn't believe the scene you missed, like from Unlimited Blade Works. That she's, was the only time I wasn't looking. I'm so at glad. Like she just started watching Unlimited Blade Works. We're only on episode five, and that was like halfway through, maybe three quarters of the way through thing. But yeah, I was like, whoa. But anyway, that video was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you watch these hentai related stuff in the background. <laughs> and I'm just like, should I be agreeing with this right now? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're enjoying it. I know, I know. It's funny. It's funny. And High School yeah, TXT. It's funny. High School TXT is actually quite good for the plot. I'm, I'm not even lying. I watched season one because there were videos I wanted to react on it. And then I watched season two because I was enjoying the story. I haven't watched season three or the other season after that. But I might, you know. I mm. might. Hmm. It's all crunchy roll. Well, <laughs> you know you know like how Nux is doing all this research and stuff into hentai for multiple different videos? Yes. Can you imagine how he's trying to explain this to people in his real life? <laughs> 
<laughs> what you playing there, Nux? Oh, just, uh, <laughs> just some random head dying game, some video I'm recording. What have you been up to this week? Ah, uh, just, you know, what are these files on your laptop? Oh, well, you see, it's research. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for Kaiser that edits the video together for him. You know the guy that keeps popping up doing all the weird stuff? Yeah. That's Kaiser. He's very funny. I love how he plays <laughs> on the whole creepiness of it. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know how you watch it because in future videos, and I'll see you guys. It's all you guys. Nick down. Wow, she just has them. Cool.